Stanford at Notre Dame. Going to pull up the stats here so you can see what we're looking at. Notre Dame is a 17-point favorite, total of 53.5. Of course, the number's over at BetUS. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC. Stanford 2-6 and six against the spread, their last eight meetings against Notre Dame. That ain't good. Stanford 0-5 against the spread, their last five on the road. They are 1-7 against the spread, their last eight against winning teams. And Notre Dame, all the spread stuff certainly looks good for them. They are 10-3 against the spread, their last 13, 7-2 against the spread uh, after a spread win. All of these things look good for Notre Dame. However, that number has gotten all the way out to 17. So let's break it down. My number is actually closer to 12 in this matchup. Uh, Notre Dame, look, the PPA margin, number 76 against number 104. Here is what I don't like about Stanford. Since EJ Smith went out, this team has just been, uh, what's the word, dreadful? Would dreadful be a good word here? Uh, yeah, I think I think they're pretty bad. I think they're pretty bad. Uh, Stanford has not done well on the road. They have lost 11 consecutive games to P5 competition. Um, it, what, what you've got to find is a way to take advantage of Notre Dame's defense. And I don't see where Stanford can do that. I know Stanford is trying to run this new slow mesh thing that they got from Wake Forest, etc., but and it worked really well with EJ Smith, right? You saw it work against USC, you saw it work in the first game of the year. Now EJ Smith is out for the season. Um I think if you're going to do anything, you got to find a way to get Tanner McKee to hit some explosive plays down the field. That's just about the only way you'll be able to do it. Okay. Notre Dame's defense is number 105 in passing explosiveness allowed. Stanford is number 26 in that spot. Uh, this Notre Dame defense is not great. Like they're, they're just not. When you look at the numbers, they're, they're not a fantastic defense, right? Um, in Stanford, while they're not a good team at all, uh, I fully expect that Notre Dame will run the football, not necessarily at will, but they'll be able to run the football on them, to say to say the least. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing for me. If this number was like two touchdowns, I might feel better about Notre Dame, maybe, even though my number is even lower than that. Uh, man, Stanford is so bad. They're so bad. If they can... I think I trust Marcus Freeman's defense more than what these numbers show. I don't think Stanford's very good. I think Notre Dame is going to... Uh, try and make themselves feel pretty good about this one. They just went out to Vegas, uh, gave up a a really big lead in that one, and BYU made it more of a game than they probably probably should have. Uh, I will take Notre Dame to cover the 17 here. I I know that my numbers don't say it, but, hey, I disagree with the numbers sometimes. That's the way it goes. Like, these things are not supposed to be end-all, be-alls. They are supposed to give you a little bit of insight, uh, just an idea of what we're looking at when you get into these games. So give me Notre Dame to cover the 17 at home on Saturday night against a bad, bad Stanford football team. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.